here's the thought that has crossed my mind over the years. You know, when, uh, when there's an event that we call the rapture. Now, let me just say this in case there's any argumentative people out there. Uh, the word rapture is not found anywhere in the Bible. The word rapture uh, is a transliteration of a, uh, of a Latin word. Uh, and that Latin word is based on the Greek word harpazo. Now the harpazo talks about uh, a time when the bride of Christ is caught away or snatched away from planet earth. This is going to be the most significant event that's going to take place on planet earth since the resurrection of Jesus. And, uh, and in fact, this will be a really a type of resurrection. Uh, the only difference is those of us that are alive, that are the bride of Christ, we are, we are not going to die. We're just going to be instantaneously changed. We're going we're gonna to put on our new body and put off the old body. One of the things I don't know is this. When we put on the new body, uh, does this old body just fall over dead, so to speak? Because, because in order to be resurrected, this body's got to die so that we can put on a new body. Let's say that uh, uh, today, let's say that uh, nearly a billion people disappear from, from planet Earth. Bam, just like that. And let's say that if they did leave their bodies behind and put on a new body, they, they leave their flesh and blood body here, put on a new body. If that happened, then, then we're talking about nearly a billion bodies laying dead all over the Earth. What do you think the news cycle would be? What do you think you would be hearing on the news tonight and tomorrow um, when the wicked people of the world are trying to put a spin on this and explain why there are why there are hundreds of millions, if not if not a billion, bodies laying on the streets dead? Oh, I got news for you. If they do what they if they do what they do now, and they will, the only, the only difference is they will do it more violently, more vehemently. Uh, they will put a spin on this that in some way works the agenda that they're pushing right now. And that agenda is to have a one world government, to eradicate all knowledge of God from planet Earth, and to uh, for the elite to be able to fulfill their every lust for greed and for power. And so everything that will happen the day after, the morning after, that's what I'm calling this series, the morning after, Everything's going to happen the morning after is going to be is going to be a plunge into even more darkness than we are facing on the earth right now. The Lord's our shepherd. He leads us. He guides us. He protects us. He feeds us. And he is going to lead us out of this place. Get people together. Get your family together as we go through this. Get them ready to love the truth. Meet Jesus when he calls us.